testing, testing, just testing audio. I have a pretty crappy. You heard a hello? Excellent, Ash. Okay. <clears throat> so, I have a crappy mic and a crappy and, and crappy speaker, so quality might not be the best, but let me know if it's good enough for for our intents and purposes. Okay, so, rigging hair. I already have a session started here. Uh, I already imported the foreign mesh, but it already has its bones, its, its original bones. I'm gonna be working with this one, right? And I already have set up my, uh, th this is like my, my, my template, my hair template uh, blender session. So I already have another couple of hairs in the works that I still need to, to work on. And I have a couple of helpful items, say for, for instance, I've Use other items, uh, other XCOM items to know where to paint the, like where the hairline actually falls, so I know how and where to position the hairs. I can send you this file later on if you want. Um, we have the bandana when I was trying to work on those fallbacks, which it's too much of a pain. The beanie, got the hat. This is the scalp uh, the for the buzz cut, which also helps to use for to re to reuse this part for hairstyles that are kind of like have like a shaven sh like like their buzz cut shaved on the side or on the back or whatever uh, pony scalp is a little bit elevated as you can see here right I just removed the ponytail and well our little human here okay so how I would go about this one I already positioned it to save time okay so it's positioned I moved the, I posed the bones a little bit on the on the back of the ponytail so that it wouldn't fall on the you know on the torso too much so it's already been positioned and placed so now what we need to do is well let me backtrack a little bit for starters um Astery and I believe it was Dim Dim who have helped me learn a lot on how all of this works is for some reason when you export the hair from the the hair um, skeletal mesh uh, from the game it exports in a very weird way where here let me show you so I've exported a couple right so let me import yes. original hair Let's go with clean dreads ponytail. Right? So this is an XCOM hair. It's this one over here. And if you notice the name of the root bone, it's called head. We we'll select it. And we only have the bones for the ponytail. We do not have the head bone. We do not have the root bone. Like, like the head bone is acting as the root bone. So that is a reason why re-importing crashes uh, the editor. So that's that sucks. So basically, Dindim sent me uh, like a file he where he combined the 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 head bone with the uh, regular head uh, XCOM hair bones, and I'll show you what that looks looks like. This is the, the ponytail one, and then root. This is this is the the original one right so you've got the front bangs side side sides and then all the way on the back and then you you would have the, the, the ponytail ones which I have deleted for the, the the hair I was working on but we can add new ones and that's pretty easy and I'll show you how to do that as well okay so this one finally has the head bone you go into edit mode right and here it is um, how to delete them, you just click delete. How to add them, you just, you just add another bone. Say for example, we're gonna, we gonna 
we want to add a bone which I did for another hairstyle here so that the the back side of the hair is a little bit longer so you just add wait this is like this is it add I have no idea <laughs> wait what did I do oh great I can't cancel now what <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> what did I do? Okay, usually what I just do is I just select them and then I just control, I, no wait, I go duplicate and then I can move them all right, to wherever I want to. But you can see that this one's parent is attached to the head bone. So you go over here to the little bone icon, parenting head, just switch it to in this case, we want it to be 4C2. Boom, you go like that. Or you could go, I, I think there's another way. We just go hit P, separate bone. So now it's in a different, now it's a different uh, bone group. But yeah, we don't need to go over that right now. So, did you how to combine these yeah I, sh I should yeah I should show you how to do that because that I mean I can send you the, the working one which is gonna be easier but let me show you how to do it so let's import two original ones right so we'll go the Bob and the whatever ponytail band no just ponytail dirty dread ponytail yeah okay yeah okay perfect okay so what do we do? Um, for starters, you don't need these dummies, so I just unparent, delete, because I hate them. Unparent. By unparenting, I'm going Alt P, which you probably know. Clear and keep transformation, and then select the dummy you're gonna need. Uh, we don't. We're not gonna need the mesh, so. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're not going to need this one either. Okay, so we have one and two. All right, let's go to show names. Wait, what am I doing wrong? There we go. Names. Names under the little stick figure. Okay. Now. We shift select them both, and we're gonna hit Control J to join. But notice, ah, it didn't happen this time. Weird, huh? Huh? Okay, so they have been joined now. One second, because we're missing a very important bone here. The head bone. And obviously it's, oh my god, it has all, all of the bones from the skeleton, which is annoying to say. So what do we do? I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to find, I believe it's this one. No, that's neck. There, that's one, head. Okay, so now I'm going to go P, just P, separate bone. And then we can delete this. We don't need you anymore. This is bone. I mean, this is the head bone. And now we're gonna grab these guys, join them. This one, Control J. Aha! There it happened. This is something that I have no idea why it happens, and I need Astri to help me understand why. Notice the direction that they're facing, and I'm gonna join them to the head. And notice what happens. See how they kind of twist. Whoa. Oh. Get out of here. Okay. See? Join. They all twist, and I do not understand why. That's why I'm going to send you the one that uh, Dim Dim sent me, and the one that Astri and I used, because I have no idea why the hell that happens. Um. And it, and it does have repercussions as to 
later on I'll show you in the editor as to as to the orientation of how the physics are gonna work now what I tried to do and it kind of helped a bit is you know, click on the plus sign here to see some of the things here and I noticed and I seem to recall when I did some um, investigating on my own here on roll negative 45 you go you select these you go alt R and it removes the roll whatever the hell that meant and they go back to how they were but I'm not entirely sure that is enough R but we'll test we'll test we'll test to see if not we can do it to, with the other one that we already have Did you guys get rolled oh, okay so now we have a fully working skeleton with our head and all of our bones so what do we do with that that one's over here hold on let me just many times this is a good one just for organizations organizational sake what, the, what is this okay yeah okay so this is this is the bone the bone yeah no wait what oh yeah right 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 right, right. so on parent delete this which I hate and then this is our bone yeah okay so this is our bone it needs to be named root 100% or it will not work so now we go back to you guys and what we do is since I have made changes to the original pose I need to I mean and you know how to, you know this already with with any other type of cosmetic you just need to add another armature armature go to armature apply so that you can delete it the remains on parent and we delete this now I'm gonna wait I'm not gonna delete it right now because you also asked how we could add them to the rig and it's just exactly the same exactly the same we would just get up to head run okay how say we want these the, the ponytail bones here these ones right so we go into edit mode and select these press P separate bone see now they're now they're now they're separate the we can delete this now and now we want you to join this and they're also they're gonna twist again huh no they didn't twist but they are positioned they have been twisted into a position that we do not want this one is twisted why are you twisted all right that's your intention of the board. but we can still hit alt R to remove the roll and it's been removed now it's just a matter of position which is a little bit annoying but and I'm just going by <coughs> just just guesstimating right now right obviously this would require a little bit more subtlety right and now we go into pose mode, we select the head, and then when we move it, wait, where aren't you moving? What? Ah, because it hasn't been, wait, yeah. yeah, right, 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 they have not been parented, okay, I'm an, I'm an idiot, okay, so, let me hide the hair right now, because the hair is a little bit not helping us see, there we go. So, ah, uh, right, okay, so the ponytail. Ponytail, pony one, the parent is head, right, and then you have to select all the ones. Side one, 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 four, C, one. If I'm 
Not, there was a quicker way to do this. I, I'm just forgetting right now. I think it was control P. Yeah, control P to make parent and just keep offset. Right? So now, and, and then to the new one, to the foreign one that we just did, we're going to do the exactly the same thing. Control P, keep offset. And now in theory, it's done. So now when we select, Jesus. we're going to pose, and then we just select the head. Yay, now everything moves. Okay, now. Now we go into the actual hair. So we grab the mesh, and we grab the bone, and we control P, armature to form. Notice how that little, mo how it moved slightly? That is because on the vertex groups of this mesh, it still has the names of the actual bones. So it's going to respect that movement but just a ponytail right because the other vertex group on the mesh it's called head neck upper not head we change that to head so now the head moves these bangs aren't moving for the exact same reason <coughs> okay, so uh, what I would do just to make this process a little bit easier, go weight paint. Now I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the weight paints. I think they're a little bit too, way too harsh. Let me look at this. All right, these 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 are not gonna work. So what what I do is I go here just to, to see transparency. Go to blur. Go to head. This is the transparency, just so that I'm hitting both sides and every single vertex instead of having to go manually on my own, right? So I, I undid there just to do it again. Get the bangs as well, since we're gonna also alter those. Boom, and then we're gonna go tail as well. A little blur. It's gonna go a long way. Blur, blur, more blur. More blur. Excellent. Bangs. I do this a lot just because visually it helps me to see. So now I know that the bottom ones are done. Now we're going to deal with these. And it doesn't matter if you have a bone with no weights. It makes no difference. Okay, so since these are hard, I, I could also blur them out. But here's the thing. I want to keep the size of the mod as, as tight as I can. And in, this is, this is a, a matter of taste. In my opinion, this... The, the right side bang the the three bones are not gonna make it look better in terms of if it only had two bones so I'll just use two bones and use these two existing bones so I'm gonna rename this one to sides one are one and sides one are two this is because these are, these are the names of the of the original rig, which I <laughs> have memorized. And but now we're gonna need to alter them. How do we do that? I'm gonna grab them all. This is by pressing L on the mesh, which will select the linked ones. And this is just for for easy an easier time way painting, which can be a bit annoying although I think you can also go like this and then select yeah select all of the the vertices right, see select okay and I press P see now it's separate so now I can have a jolly good time weight painting on my own and now what am I gonna do 
well. Huh. So we have our sides. Actually, here, let me. I'm gonna delete these. Well, no, not delete them, just rename them so that they're not used. And we can keep the originals in case we need them for whatever. And I'm gonna name you sides 1 or 1. Well, sides 1 or 1. Sides 1 or 2. And here's a nifty little trick as well. Go to transparency because that always helps. And then we're gonna go mix, which is the default one. Wave paint 1. Mm -hmm. And gradient. Click and hold and drag. Now this is just based on because I've done it so so many times I I kind of already know where I want this to be. So it's kind of here. A boot. Yep. And then sides are one would be I believe I can do it this way. Yeah, okay. And subtract point four, yeah. Blur. And blur again. Well, I mean, a little bit quick and dirty, but it gets the job done. Good enough for government work. Uh, this could be a bit better. Um, it's you want it to kind of, the, like the whole point is you, you want both bones to add up to one. So if this is like a point four, this is like a point two-ish. So you want this to be like a point 0.8, which would be almost yellow color around this area. And I'm all the way in the blue, so we should do it again a little bit like that. See, now that's much better. It's not going to be perfect, it's not going to be an exact size, but screw it. This is right now just for teaching purposes. Select both of them, join them. And right now, we're just going to do these two, the ponytail and this, just so that we can get things rolling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to, all right, yeah, we want to also blur the, on the head, a zip ponytail, blur, and blur again. Make it an easier, smoother transition. And then I'm gonna go with mix. We paint one, and we're just gonna paint you all red. Just right now, for I mean, you, you would need to do the same with the other side, but that's what we're gonna do right now, just for for this real quick demonstration. Okay. <coughs> Another way to do that would be to add them. So say for example we have this. We call this A1, we call this A2, you go to A1, you go armature, add modifier, weight paint mix, bone in question, the one that's selected, add A2, add, vertex group instead of A and B, you go vertex group A or B, boom, and now they're added apply and that's what happened now and this is a very useful tool obviously when we want to add uh, more detailed type of bones okay so but we don't need you anymore right now because we have the head and then we have size one and size two and then we have our ponytail which the name doesn't need to be changed because we have bones with those names so A, B, C, and D. 
Now, what we've noticed here is that we don't need well, these. So we can safely delete them. Okay. So now that that's done, one last check, go to pose, select the head, rotate, and everything works except you are not burned. Okay. Tip. Okay, perfect. Alright, we're done. So we select the mesh. Doesn't matter what the name is, we select the bone, make sure its name is root, file, export, fpx, I got my presets but the exact same as the ones that for any other cosmetic item, I'm going to add it to the desktop, I'm going to add it as <coughs> SM test hair female, okay, export. Good. Now, I already have the editor open, which is good, and my project open as well, which is good. Save time. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom, and we are going to add a new one. Doesn't matter where. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Paste, and I'm going to change, and this one's going to be called template. It's going to be test hair female archetype is going to be in, in my same package so it's going to be archetype test hair female give it a little name just for <coughs> consistency sake test hair Test woo hair. Alright. So it's done. No, oh, test hair female. Okay. Go, save. Any okay, so it's test arc test hair female. So we're going to grab <coughs> any of the archetypes I already have. Doesn't really matter. Create a copy. Arc test hair female. Hit OK. Boom. There you are. Now I'm going to go into my skeletal meshes package section. Create a copy. doesn't need to be the same name but it just helps for consistency's sake I'd like to keep the XCOM nomenclature it's just easier so now that it's selected so we add it boom okay now comes the interesting part first we have to re-import the mesh and uh, desktop Test hair, open. Okay, there it is. Okay, now here comes the interesting part. Right click, create new physics asset. <coughs> this is just the name, the grouping. Click OK. Here, I've experimented with different several settings and my rig might be an issue but sometimes it skips certain bones so what I do is I remove the walk past small bones I untick that and I hit create body for all bones and then if I have any extra ones I'll just delete them and I'll show you how in a sec so we hit OK keep the rest of the same Astri knows way much more about this between the difference between collision geometry being a box or a sphere. I just keep it as a box and I hit OK.
boom here is This is weird, huh? Hold on. Huh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's a mesh. I was just, I was not seeing. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to open another one. Going to open an existing. Wait, no, it's not yet. I'm going to open an existing one because it's better to use a vanilla one since you know that that shit works. I'm going to use that. Okay. For some reason that I do not know yet why. So we're only using we're only using sides one R. Yeah, sides one R and one or two. One or one and one or two and the ponytail. So that means I don't need you. So delete all body this is right clicking. Sides two L, I don't need you. One L, I don't need you. Center, I don't need you. These are the ones that we're using. So sides are two, delete. Sides for C, delete. Sides to R, delete. And these are pointer ones. Okay. <clears throat> so, basically, just make sure that everything is the same as, as, as vanilla, right? So, we go to the head. And we notice that the head has fixed, no collision. So, go to the head. Also to the root. We're just going to go fixed. That means it won't move. Head fixed, no collision, and this is because I already know how the others work. It's just go no collision, always full anim, no collision, always full anim set, no collision, always full, no collision, always full, no collision, always full, no collision, always full. No I'll hit play here. And it's a little bit better, but something's still kind of weird and off, right? Why is that? Because we need to give it a physical material. Physical material are several, so you, you have. So you go here, we see we have garbage, glass, grass, gravel, grocery boxes, grocery cans, grocery produce, hair, hay. Uh, machine human masonry metal uh, panel ceiling I think we also have cloth somewhere over here yeah, see cloth etc well, we want to use hair obviously because we're dealing with hair so copy it and this one is not on the root bone but on every other bone as well so we go here physical material boom 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 Boom, boom, boom. Now it looks a little bit better. All right. I'm going to take a look at you. So now why is it moving so much? And this is the thing that I still don't understand why is... I have size 1 R selected, we know it's a small bone, yet look at the size of the box selected, and I do not know why it does that, but the turnaround that I found is, are you going to the original one, this is size 1 R, 1 R1, I check these little sizes here on the box element, and I go online, and mine are 30 point whatever the hell not the same so I right click next to the zero copy select properties next to the zero paste properties boom 
same with two slides are two copy paste oh, and now they are as they should now you hit play and you notice that <laughs> that's very weird and we don't want that to happen there's one final step that needs to happen so now we go here into the editing mode apologies I'm smoking okay so now we go and we check one final bit here besides one or one and we notice again you just copy these elements enable projection swing limit and twist limit and the, these are going to be the numbers and I'll you'll see the, the the difference in value in a second let me just give you a better a better perspective this is where the twisty little bone things when we join them plays a part into it that I said we will notice this later so you do the same for everyone Enable these, these two and you can play with these values and you'll see in a bit as well as the twist limit angle and these as well but these are what we need so far 20 20 Jesus apologies if this is taking a little bit 20 well play and this is going to give you a limit as to how and where they move I do not understand right now why this is moving so weirdly and I think it has to do with the whole joining thing and we'll test that in a second we'll test that in a second we'll see we'll For all intents and purposes, it works the way we want. Obviously, a couple of issues, but it works. So now we just close, close. Materials, meshes. This is test, test hair. So we copy full name. here now you only really need them on this one and this one all of these are the different fallbacks which mean which means what mesh should it be using if you're using a hat or a cap or the backwards cap or uh, a powered helmet and all that stuff since I don't use any fallbacks I just use the exact same but basically you want the same physics but maybe the the mesh is different because you cut off the top if it's wearing a hat or you cut off the bottom or the ponytail if it's wearing the powered helmet stuff like that but that's pretty much all we need now okay so now that we're done we save we got our hair art test hair female art test hair female I'm not doing the the, the texture right now uh, but it does, I mean, we can just add, I mean, a, a way to check that would be uh, patterns only has one, yeah, where is this, okay, so, here, what, point bangs, this one okay ok 
Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna have one that fits it exactly, obviously, but I need something similar, at least in terms of. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> it's not bad at all. I mean, it doesn't have a little transparency here at the at the end, but it's pretty good. Okay, done. Save. We're gonna save and build, which takes a little bit of time. So apologies right now for for that and fire up the game. We save. Okay. Need you no more. It takes this long because I have like 300, I have like a hundred, almost a hundred hairstyles in here playing an update. And it's a lot of hairstyles and a lot of textures, a lot of materials and physics, and blah, 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 blah. <coughs> Feel free to fast forward this part because this is lame. What I'm going to do here is like fast forward until we are in the game. What we're going to do is just, just, just going to check it out and see how it looks like in, in game. So right now it's going to finish saving, then I'm going to build the mod, then I'm going to fire up the game, and then that's when you can stop fast forward. Okay, so it's done saving. So now we need to close. Build project build. Okay, I just finished building. Now I'm going to 
just in them. <laughs> Smash is the fast forward, but I really need to get a second monitor so I can properly do these videos and stuff and edit them and you know make them all nice and blah blah blah. But I'm into modding, not doing these things. I mean, I do enjoy them, but let me just add a voice back there. point of no longer fast forward inception Okay, you can stop fast forwarding now. And we are back. Okay, so now we go into our character pool. We're gonna test the hair. And test, woo, hair. Okay, so this is definitely not cool, but the ponytail doesn't look half bad. I mean, obviously there's a couple of mesh work that I would need to fix here in Blender. Give weights to this, this bang, that left side bang, the right side bang, I hate. And we are going to fix that. Obviously, the material works because it's from another already working hair. Face is a uh, face I'm working on. Okay, so it works. Pretty cool. Okay, I might actually keep this one. Doesn't look half bad. Okay, so now we're gonna quit and it works. Yay, that's good. Now we're gonna corroborate my theory. Which is... Croyd is new here. Say hello. Hello, Croyd. All right. This, this is this is what I want to corroborate. That this root, the, the, the joining of the bones that I did, and how it made the little twisty thingy, is ba pretty much basically fucking up my universe, right? So, that doesn't work. So, we're going to try to use the one that uh, Dim Dim sent me, and that Astri has helped me learn how to do. So we're going to parent it to that one. So it's, now it's been parented. You delete. Oh, wait. That's not going to work. No, wait. It is going to work. Okay, so we're going to delete it. And we'll see. Okay, And that's also a good part of to even more. Uh, more, more. Yeah, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so no, we're going to need a ponytail uh, rig. So let me just import an existing one. Uh, Jesus, import FBX new creations hair. Um, let me think of a good one that has both bangs and hair. Pony elegance. Uh, pony, pony, pony. Okay. So I'm gonna open this one. Grab you. Delete you. Grab you, parent you, control P, armature deform. Now it's been added. But now, remember, the vertex groups on the mesh are called hair, tail, A, B, C, and D, while the bones are called. Give me the names! The usual. The, the usual nomenclature. 
So now we need to change that. So you are going to be pony one, pony two, pony Jesus three, pony four. And we've got the sides and everything. Okay, so now pose. Yep, perfect. Okay. Let's fire up the editor as well. In the meantime, because that takes a while. So now I'm going to grab you and grab you. Is it parented? Yep. Root? Yep. Wait. Just in case, let's test how bad, because this would require also a little bit, a little bit of positioning. So let's see how bad it deforms. Doesn't look that bad. I mean, yeah, I think I think that's good, good enough. Okay, um, if it's too harsh, the, the it's it's a couple of things. Either one, how strong the way paints are that we can still, yeah, uh, blur. We can still blur it a little bit further, a little bit more blur. Right. A little bit more. I shouldn't do this while the editor is firing up. Blur. I'm just. Okay. <coughs> we don't want to interrupt him doing anything weird. Blur a bit more. But also, it's not just the, the strength of the weights. And I mean, obviously, this is a quick and dirty one, but. It's not only this, but also might be the positioning of the bones, right? I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, so we see, let's take pony four. Wait, 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 wait. Edit. No, pose. Jesus. <laughs> okay, pony four. See, if, it, if it's a subtle movement, it doesn't look that bad. If it's strong, it starts kind of like breaking and showing the seams. But if we move it, Moving it. See the move. Now, now it's actually a little bit better. So it's actually to bring it a, better to bring it a little bit closer. There we go. Okay. Again, this is just very quick and very dirty. Now we're ready to export again. Export FBX test here and desktop. Yep, yep. Export, export, export. Done. Uh, back. Open. Your name test. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we see any differences. <laughs> Thanks, Ash. It's the smoking that makes it sexy. Okay, now we're gonna report this. Report skeletal mesh. We can keep, we can redo the physics or we can keep the physics, but the physics are gonna work. The fine bones aren't, oh no, we, no, we, we do, we, we do need to redo. No, actually what we need to do, ah, okay, good thing that I, we paid attention to this. Since it's now using the, the rig from the Pony Elegance that we used and we renamed the bones and everything, obviously that, that's not gonna work uh, anymore. So we can safely delete to the archetype and delete you okay. now we should be able to delete you without any pr oh no wait the getter is a bitch and I'm gonna need to move I'm gonna need to move you <coughs> move you somewhere else I'm gonna have to delete you so we're gonna move you here Don't 
worry, we'll delete this one. But now what we need to do is find the one that we did use. And this one was done just like the one I, I showed you how to do. Like exactly the same. The only difference now, it's using the rig, the skeleton that, um, the other skeleton instead of the one that, that, that we just created today. Okay, so... Yeah, upon alien physics, okay, so now we just add it. Okay, done. So now save you. We save you. Again. <laughs> Hitting that part where you can fast forward. The ponytail was a little jumpy because of the positioning of the bones. Um, that does have a lot to do with with where the, the where the actual bone is, like like how I just showed you here so that, that was probably it why it was a little jumpy keep in mind though even the vanilla hairstyles they're a little jumpy so it's not gonna be perfect and I'll show you with the with the with the rest Jeez, we haven't even clicked yes yet okay. um, they're a little they're a little, little little jumpy some more than others I had a lot of issues with the longer braided ones But I mean, they're not that bad. I mean, again, I'm not <laughs> not a pro here. <laughs> and Astri's hair looks better. The, the the physics rigging is way way better. Takes so long to save. Jesus. I should have just added these the new ones to a, like a new package instead of this because I have like 70, 80 different meshes in here. close we're not gonna save you fuck you all right build we build feel free to fast forward this this area You can't watch the stream me? How come? Ah, uh -huh. building has finished. We now fired up the game again.
sorry, 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 sorry. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Now, now we will see. Well, isn't that better? See? Now, ponytail is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because it's not it's not the original one, right? I mean, and we just just quick and dirty just positioned it as we could, so it's a little bit broken, but it works and the physics work and they're fine. Now it is a little bit jumpy, right? See how it's kind of like, eh, but now if you go to a vanilla one, look at that! Look at that! Are you jumpy? And if you go to, say, for example, one of my, here, the Kami White Braids, they jump like a mofo, right? And there's a little twisty thingy here that I was never able to fix. But in the end, it works. Here, let me take this time to show you the new additions. We have... <laughs> the daddy -o. <laughs> I found this hair so stupid I loved it um, MEA Afro it's not great uh, Tris double bun it's a beautiful thing mm. Siri Always a beautiful thing. Mm. Cherry Blossom. Something from Final Fantasy 13 that I never played, but I thought looked kind of cool. Mm. 80s a <laughs> Because who doesn't want this little punk rock hair? Got feathered. Got Black Widow. This one's pretty cool. And we have. I like this one. This is kind of like a human codex. It's very long. Uh, long layered. Side. And I think the final one is. Let's oh, see, we got a couple. Okay, we got Momiji from Better of Alive. It's like the huge, yeah, also with a little bouncy thingy. Huge little ponytail for Arrow, which I know Arrow is going to love this one. Ponytail feathered. It's funny how it looks like it's a short hair, but then boom, we've got the little ponytail hair. It's a pretty cute one. Corporate hair. Because who doesn't need a corporate suit? And a Lara Croft Regal braid. Ta-da! That's it. So... That concludes our tutorial. Obviously, again, the reason why it looked also broken down and ugly was because the bones 
a specific bonus to a specific match weren't placed from its original point. That's why it's 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 a good idea to use the. I'll I'll, I'll send you this original working uh, rig, the XCOM one. But then if you add the the other game bones to the to the XCOM rig. It'll work. I mean, you'll still have to do the little, the, the little, uh, you know, remove the the roll thing, but it'll 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 look great. And since it's the original bone with the original mesh, it'll be aligned properly, so it won't be broken, broken down that ugly in the in the, in the game. So, I mean, this was just quick and dirty, and we saw that it worked, right? And you saw how by reusing. I mean, it was using the exact the, the, the the how quickly did we paint the the size one right and R two with just the gradient tool over here, and we painted really quickly and we just used the the existing one and it and the 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 bangs they look great in the game so it's it's just like a little bit of trial and error just a little bit obviously we saw in the mesh I mean it was using a different material from 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 its original source so the little uh, like loose strands from the back of the of the neck look kind of iffy and there could be a little bit more uh, better work done to the uh, verdicts work and the mesh in itself to make it properly fit maybe a little bit better see how it's kind of like floating around um, stuff like that right but this was just really quick and really dirty and I think it looked pretty cool. Okay, so now ending the stream. And any and all questions, I'll, I'll try to answer as, as best as I can over at the Discord. All right, hope that helped. Later.